when did it land for you and Phineas and for your TM and your crew that, okay, this can't continue, everything has to stop? I remember being at the airport, being at the airport about to leave for Miami for the first show and the rehearsals and stuff. And my mom and Phineas were like talking about, I bet we'll make one week and then we'll have to come home. And I remember thinking they were joking. I was like, what are you talking about? We're not going to have to cancel the tour. It's not going to get that serious. And then backstage, it was like, people would be like, are we supposed to hug? Can we hug? And I'd be like, I'm going to hug. But I really just had no idea. And after after I, I really understood, I was just like, oh, whoa. So that's why I don't know if you saw that story I posted where I really talked about it. I, I tried to say because I didn't want to I wanted to to make sure that people that doubted this virus or doubt it currently I understand it but it is really serious in any of our lifetimes we've never faced this as a and I've never been a part of something that's affected the world in such a in such a kind of um a singular way we would never have thought the thing that we couldn't do is see people you know Thanks for doing the show. We're excited about me and dad. It's going to be so great to hear you guys come together. I'm sure you remember Groupies Have Feelings 2 two years ago. And of course, coronavirus was not happening then. So it was at Apple and it was in the studio and it was in the pe- with the people and the energy and the mics and the everything. And I'm sure you get it because you have to be doing it right now. It's different at home. It's just different. It's like it just it totally gives you a different vibe. Um, so that was a new thing for me. And dad, I mean, dad, dad had never done it before. Well, so me all the way. Dad was just hyped all around, but um, it was really fun. I think, I think the bed, the best episodes will be later because <laughs> the first one was our first, our first go at it, and uh, I think it'll get better. I think we just maybe we blabbed a little too much. What was the purpose behind what you, wanting you and dad to do it? Was it because you know each other so well and you've lived your whole lives together? Are, they, are you going to learn things? Do you think by doing? I think. I think the, the the more the the reason for me I would say there was a lot but but I think I've I've just talked so much about have like my dad's influence on me with music and the music that he played us growing up and not just that but then when I got older my dad and I have had this relationship over the years of of music sharing with each other and so it's kind of like a thing everybody knows, like my dad and I share music together and my dad has shown me some of my favorite songs in the world and um, I've shown him songs that he loves and adores. So what did you find yourself doing once everything stopped? I was f- fully uninspired for the first like three weeks of this. I was not about to make music. I don't know why. I just was like, this is not interesting to me right now. I... It was annoying, though, because it was like, that's the kind of thing you want to be doing in quarantine. But I, I couldn't. I don't know. I was not wasn't feeling it. To be honest with you, I didn't get to have. I know that everybody like the beginning of this kind of really got to people and friend. I, I didn't really have that experience because I cheated because I rescued two puppies or fostered two puppies. And so I was completely distracted for the entirety i actually haven't had no puppies here at all for the entire quarantine had the creative juices started flying again it kind of hit a couple weeks ago actually so we've been we've been in the in the stew which just means phineas's basement basically um and we 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 actually i we wrote a whole song um entire in its entirety like an entire song which is which is like kind of rare for us and i really love it it was like exactly what i needed to say when we wrote it what are you doing with your energy now i mean we've got young t and we got bugsy up in this playlist yeah it's me missing missing moving you know and 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 dancing and being in a car full of people and listening to music way too loud and singing all the words what else did you take for granted before all this happened i mean everything you know, touring, shows. I think just just being in an arena full of people, like, geez, like, oh, my God, being attacked. <laughs> I made a puzzle that I sell now on my website, and it's a picture from a show I did at the United Center in Chicago, in, yeah. in Chicago last year. And it's just this picture of me just right in the middle and, you know, everybody in the crowd, 20,000 people with their lights up. And it just, every time I look at that picture, I'm just like, God, that, that feeling 
does not exist anywhere else. And I, I can't even state that more. You seem in really good space. And, you know, but I know that, you know, you struggle like I do and like millions and millions of other people do. And I, and I sort of wonder, like how you're getting on right now in terms of internally and dealing with things and and do you feel like you have the tools and are you are you in a, in a healthy place do you feel good honestly i feel great i uh i mean the the song i was talking about earlier that we wrote a couple of weeks ago that felt so right was this i wish i could sing it for you but i can't but it's it was just about you know there's this part of it in it that was that was i just needed to say this which was you know, I know I'm supposed to feel unhappy right now because of this break and because I'm not seeing anybody. And it's like, I feel like there's this kind of thing that I feel like is floating around of like, you're supposed to be missing people. <laughs> you're supposed to be missing this person and, and be missing people in general and be missing doing this. And I kind of have this feeling of like, <laughs> I... I miss I miss my really close friends. I miss people, of course I do, but I I also at the same time I'm liking the space and I'm I'm liking that everybody can kind of grow right now. And I I hope that people are letting themselves grow instead of just you know reminiscing and wishing they were with other people because this is this is if you want to think about the bright side of this, it's like this is a once in a lifetime hopefully thing that happens. And in terrible ways and in good ways, because this is a time when we can seriously, if we want to change something, if we want to, you know, do something, if we want to create something, you know, if you don't want to do stuff, that's totally fine. But, you know, might as well take it while it's here. I've been loving going outside and the puppy has been great for that because he's been making me go outside a lot. But I've I've just I've been good. I've I don't know. I've been enjoying it. <laughs>